Okay, so we're trying something different today. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have to edit this, maybe, which I suck at editing, but like, bitch, I feel like my, my tripod's like crooked right now too, so like, I don't know what to do. Anyway, long time no talk. It's me again. Hi, I'm back. Let's talk ASAP. Do you have the time? Let's talk ASAP, baby. New jeans still up for me, just letting you know. And if you heard my cat jump up there, it's because he fucking agreed. So yeah, long time no talk, it's been a minute, um, but your girl's been going fucking through it, bitch. Like, I've been going through it. I don't know what's been going on, but like, I've been in the worst, like, depressive fucking funk, like, ever. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I really don't know. Like, okay. So, it's not like something new for me to go through, like, existential dread. Like, I don't know if I mentioned this in the past, but like, basically... I've been going through like an existential crisis since I was like three, you know what I mean? And like it sounds so stupid, but like bitch, I'm being so serious. Like I remember when I was like three and four, I would go to my parents' room like crying and bawling. Like I don't want you guys to die. Like I'm gonna die. I don't want to die. Like blah, 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 right? Which I think is kind of normal for kids maybe. Like I don't know, but mine became to the point where I was like so obsessive, like where I was having like the worst insomnia as like a kid, like literally three or four, like not sleeping, doing whatever, right? And long story short, bitch, it was OCD that was like undiagnosed and it didn't get diagnosed until like several things passed later on in my life. I don't know, existential stuff is not anything that's like new to me. Like it's something that I've always kind of dealt with. And like, you know, even now that I've like, uh, you know, had treatment for a lot of my OCD stuff and like I'm on medication and whatnot, um, every now and then like, you know, like I, I get like, uh, like, a little bit of an episode of like existentialism um you know in terms of like death stuff but it's not anything as bad as when i was like a kid it's more so like i think like maybe like once or like you know once every one or two months i think about like my animals like dying and like that's just because i see them and they're getting older like you can see it like on their face like gray hair and like you know just like stuff like that like you know their birthday pass or whatever so like it makes me kind of sad and then i'll like literally have a breakdown and like whatever it'll be like like i said once or twice a month and then it'll go away like it's very something normal to me i don't think it's really an issue it's it's just one of those things you know recently i just feel like it's been like so weird because i've been like having like so many breakdowns about that like i said usually it's like once every like couple months but bitch like it's been happening like quite like a lot you know and i'm like what's going on and then like next thing you know like it's leading me to like having like an existential issue with like my life in general like because then i start reflecting on this whole year and i feel like honestly bitch this year has been like horrible for me like it <sighs> It hasn't been, like, super horrible, but, like, it wasn't a good year. It was not a good year, and, like, it was, like, a, a shit year. Just, like, 2020 was, like, a shit year. So I feel like this is, like, 2020 part two. And it was just, like, things happened that I didn't think would happen ever with, like, me and, like, my personal relationship hobby. And, like, you know, like, just, like, me not talking to certain people anymore, like, friends-wise, or, like, making friends with people and not being friends with them anymore, and blah, blah, blah. So I just feel like it's been, like, such, like, a weird whirlwind of, like, a lot of pain this year. And, like, that's not even talking about some of the stuff that you guys know about with, like, um, uh, Matthew. Like, the, the whole, like, you know, caring for someone who has substance abuse issues is, like, a whole different story, you know? Like, that is, like, a whole different... <sighs> It's literally a whole different story. But like, bitch, like, this year was hard. And it was, like, very, very hard for me. So, anyway, long story short, it's, like, the end of the year already. And I'm, like, what the fuck? This year went by fast. And, like, I feel like I wasted it because, like, one, I quit my job, like, in the beginning of the year. And, like, two, like, I feel like I had, like, my... Okay, sorry. Ketchup wanted to, like, get on me. He's such a cuddle bug. Anyway, like, I just feel like this year has been, like, weird because, like, I quit my job, which needed to be done. And then, like I said... A lot of other shit happened and it just felt like you know like this year was like painful and that's like what i wasted my time with if that makes sense and look at all that cat hair fly if you see it whatever i'm holding my child let me hold my child so um yeah anyway stupid i'm going on a tangent but i've been like in a really bad depressive funk with it and like this time of year has like always been like kind of shitty anyway because like i just don't like this time of year like like i said in 2020 i was like fucking peak fucking bad shit happened around this time of the year and i know a lot of people don't like this time of the year because of like holidays and like family stuff and whatnot and like you know that doesn't really bother me a lot of people have been asking me like okay are you in like a bad funk like depressive funk because like you know you're uh you went to your family's like during holiday stuff and i'm like no like it's really not that like yeah that's a whole different story bitch we're not gonna get into it 
but like that's something I'm used to at this point. You know what I mean? Like this just has something this is just me fucking reflecting on this year and like mourning it and like I miss kind of like when things were normal, I guess in that sense. This is my new normal and I'm getting used to it, obvi, but like I guess I'm grieving the past and like I'm grieving the people that I was really close to or grieving the people that didn't hurt me in the past or grieving like all these situations and like obvi like I said, like it started with like me grieving like my animals that had passed in the way in, in the past as well. So like I don't know. I'm just like going through it mentally and it's so stupid. Like it's me just like missing a lot of people that are probably bad for me but then also me missing like people that I love and like animals that I love and like things like that so it's whatever that's what I'm dealing with around this time of year and on top of it it's like I'm give me a second I'm back but like I feel like I've been getting so fucking overstimulated like so easily lately and like what does that mean like I don't know, bitch. Either way, like, my brain is not here. I feel like it's, like, whatever. I've been, like, a bad mood all the time. I'm just, like, all I want to do right now is, like, rot. Like, I want to rot in bed and, like, cry and sleep and just, like, that's it. Like, you know, and it's fine. That's what I've been doing. I don't care, bitch. That's my number one recommendation. If you're going through something, like, literally just feel the feelings and, like, live it, you know? So, like I said, I've been kind of, like, going through that bullshit and... The holidays didn't even help either because like this year it was so different from any other holidays that I used to have. Like I'm already grieving stuff so now I'm grieving like old holiday stuff. Like it was just a weird holiday this year where it was just like me and my parents and not like really like my siblings or like I guess like how we kind of plan things in the past as well. Um, where it's kind of like during this like I don't know like basically we celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve Which is weird to me like where you, we usually do it on Christmas and like I'm not even a big holiday person Like honestly, I really hate Christmas, but like you know what I mean? Like it's just been so much fucking weird shit And I know this is just me going on a fucking rant and a rumble, but like this is my channel I do what I want. It's my diary like I really don't care if this makes sense or not like I have been going through it a lot and I miss the past but I don't miss the past, but I miss like a lot of things. But like, I know it's important for me to like not have it anymore. And I know I'm going to be growing and uh, next year's going to be really, really fucking great. And I'm going to be blessed and even more than I am now, you know, but like this year has just been painful and a lot of realizing things and bullshit in general, you know, but like, I don't know. I guess it's just like a little quick update because I know I've been like gone for a minute and I know like people have been like asking me like what's up and like I said you guys think that I'm like depressed because like my family shit like bitch no I'm not depressed because of that like that's something whatever like that did exhaust me though that literally did fucking exhaust me being there like being there with like my fucking like niece and nephew and stuff like that like they're a handful like bitch like it literally like solidified me not wanting to have kids i think about this a lot sometimes i get baby fever and i'm like i want kids like they're so cute but then i hang out with my niece and nephew right now and i'm like bitch no like i have a headache like i think that's why i've been so exhausted because like just dealing with that that handful of three-year-old two-year-old stuff you know what i mean like oh my god <sighs> we're not gonna talk about it so yeah anyway it's already starting to look up though because like i feel better today yesterday i feel like i had a good cry and I've been sleeping like nonstop for like these last three days and just like in a depressive cocoon. And then today, like this morning, I finally secured a photo card I've been fucking wanting. So this is why things are getting fucking better because I got a card I've been looking for forever at a good price. And then bitch, on top of it, guess what? I secured fucking Odd Eye Circle tickets. And I didn't get super bad prices scalp wise so basically like scalpers were selling them all for like 230 even in like the fucking nosebleeds and like this one area i really really wanted to say it was like 230 250 you know um and this morning i checked and they were 160 bitch i'm telling you my gut and my intuition was telling me to wait i waited so two two tickets for 160 how much is that 320 not a bad deal compared to like 260 each what is that 20 bitch i saved a hundred dollars like look at girl math you know what i can do now i can buy like the vip package and maybe meet them or i can spend more money on photo cards or other stuff i don't know either way just a quick update um i hope the holidays were good to you guys i know like a lot of people have issues with holidays right now um and i know some people like ask what i got for christmas but bitch i'm not gonna fucking like show you like i think that's corny i don't like 
I, I always thought that was corny, like showing people like what you got for Christmas specifically or your birthday, like that's a little bit braggy, more than like just showing stuff just to show, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I don't know, just a quick update. I just wanted to test uh, my new camera out and test out like this new setup um, and give a quick update. I'll go ahead and uh, make a better video, I guess, later on in the week. I don't know, maybe next week, bitch, I don't know, whatever. This is an update. So I hope everything's going good. Now you guys know what's been going on in my fucking brain. Stop asking me. I'm okay. I'm fine. I swear. Okay, for real. <laughs> All right, just a quick update. Love you guys. Bye.